Hello, welcome you all. Today's class is the fifth class of semiconductor and uh, it will be based on semiconductor as a rectifier. First of all, rectifier means it is a device which converts AC into DC. At our home, if you see some current are AC, some are DC. For example, the current what you get from the plugs and main switch that is AC and the current what you get from a cell that is DC. But when you want to charge a mobile and we need we need a DC current for it but at our home AC is available and there should be something that converts AC into DC. So we are connecting a mobile charger uh, to a plug and in that charger there is a box. Inside the blocks there is a circuit and we will be understanding what circuit is that that converts AC into DC right okay let us understand here. Rectifier is a device which converts AC into DC and the process is called as a rectification. The device what we are using in that rectifier circuit is uh, the diode. Why we are using diode? Because uh, diode allows only one direction current. That property is used in the rectifier. Rectifiers are of two types. One is half wave rectifier and another one is full wave rectifier and we will be studying those two today. Let us understand the half wave rectifier. Okay, see here. Half wave rectifier the circuit diagram is like this. Okay, let us understand how actually is this. Okay, this is a circuit that is present inside your mobile charger, the box of the mobile charger. Here, there is an input. This input is AC input. AC input, we know that AC input is like this. Let me tell you, this is the AC signal. This is positive cycle and let me call it as negative half cycle. This is one cycle. Let me call it as positive, cycle, positive half cycle. Let me call it as negative half cycle. And this is AC input and it is connected to a device like this and this device is called as a transformer. First of all, the AC plug it is, that is connected to a transformer. What is transformer? Transformer is a device which converts from one high voltage to low voltage or low voltage to high voltage. Here we are using the step down transformer because you know that the AC what you are getting at your home is about 220 to 40 volts. But uh, the mobile charger, I think you have seen on the mobile charger, the voltage written on it is 4 volts. And we need to convert it from 220 to uh, 4 volts. And we need to step down the voltage. So what we need to do, we need to go with a uh, device called transformer. It converts high voltage to low voltage. Okay, we got AC here. It converts from high to low voltage. Then what? Then it is connected to a diode. We know that the symbol of diode is like this. And this is the... P end and this is what we say like the N end and it is connected to a resistor. What is that resistance? Load resistance we call it. This load resistance, okay, think it of, it is not a resistor, okay, uh, let me think it of a bulb room here, right? Okay, a bulb is connected like this. Load resistance, we write and it can be a TV, mobile, anything on here, right? Okay, let us think it is a bulb room here, which is connected here and this is a diode. Okay, what happens? So, we know that we are supplying an AC voltage to it, means AC means it will send the current in both directions. Means one time it will be plus, minus, minus, plus. The variations will be like this. That's why the name is alternating. For in first positive half cycle of AC input, A will be positive, B will be negative. Then what happens? This positive, we know that P side of a diode is connected to positive. Then the diode is forward biased. And we have studied in the last uh, class is that when the diode is forward biased, current flows through it. Okay, the current flows in this way and it flows through it and the bulb will on here, right? So the current flows through X and Y now here, right? So and again it, it will it flows like this. Okay, what happens during positive half cycle? We have seen that during positive half cycle A is positive, B is negative. What happens if it happens? Diode is forward by as that. What happens diode is forward by as current flows through RL, what we say from X to Y. So whenever the current flows through the wire, and we understood that current flows whenever there will be voltage. Uh, otherwise, the reverse is also good, right? So let us take here. If I'm taking, if you're connecting the voltage, then the current flows, right? Since the current is flowing from X to Y, then there, there should be definitely a voltage. That's why let me write here. Voltage uh, output voltage appears across RL in this case. Okay. Then what? Then during negative half cycle of AC input, this is a negative half cycle. Negative half cycle means the the polarity will be reversed. This will become negative and this will become what we say here positive. Then let us check it out. What happens to the diode? Right? 
P side is connected to negative means what? What is the meaning of this? It is a reverse bias, and we know that during reverse bias, current will not flow. Okay, the current does not flow when it is a reverse bias. So let me write like this: during negative half cycle, A is negative, B is positive, diode is reverse bias. Here, no current flows through RL. Yes, no current flows because it is reverse bias. If there is no current, there will be no voltage. Like right? no output voltage appears across RL. And after writing this, the waveforms is very important. And you need to write about the waveforms. How actually it uh, happens now? Okay, this is the input. By seeing this, you can understand this is an AC input now, right? This is positive half cycle and this is negative half cycle. During positive half cycle, output voltage appeared here. That's why let me take like this. During negative half cycle, there will be no output. So I have to write it blank here. Okay. Here there will be positive half cycle. We can see the output here, and there will be no output, and the process continues. And uh, we see that. During only the positive half cycles, we have obtained uh, the output. That's why this uh, uh, rectifier is called as half wave rectifier. So, after uh, completing the half wave rectifier, let us move on to the second type of rectifier that is called as full wave rectifier. Okay, let us check it out. What happens again here? And uh, here there is an AC input. Again, there is a transformer here, and uh, what we will be doing, the difference between the half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier is that here we are using the two diodes, right? Okay, let us think it of what actually happens. This is a transformer, current flows here, and it is used to reduce the voltage. And we are connecting two diodes, and uh, these two diodes are connected like this, and uh, in between we are connecting it to a load. We are connecting it to a load, and this wire is connected like this. Let me tell you. This is connected, and it is center tap. So this transformer now is called as center tap transformer. We call it as center tap transformer. Okay, let us check it out now. Right? This is the load resistance. Okay. Main difference is here two diodes are used. Let me check it out like this. Okay. When During positive half cycle, let's check it out here. During positive half cycle, we know that A is positive and B is negative. This is the P side and this is the M side. P side and M side. Okay. Now during positive half cycle, A is uh, positive and uh, B is what we say like negative. So if what happens if A is positive, positive is connected to P side, then this diode is what now here forward bias that, and this diode is. Reverse bias. P is connected to negative, right? When current flows through it, it will not come to this diode because it is reverse bias. It does not allow the current flow through it. That's why the current flows here, and the current will flow from X to Y. Now, yeah. Okay, let us check it out. A is positive, B is negative. Diode D one is forward bias. Current flows through R L from where now here X to Y. Since current flows through here, the output voltage appears across R L. Okay. What happens in the second case? Second means negative half cycle. We are saying the polarity is the reverse. There. This will become negative and this will become positive. When it becomes negative, A is negative, B is positive. Let us check it out. Negative is connected to P side, right? So since it is connected to P side, this is a reverse bias. Then this is what we say here, forward bias. Now during negative half cycle of AC input, current does not flow through D1 only, right? Now it flows through D2. Right. As the current flows through D2, again it will flow here. It cannot go here because it is reverse bias. The current flows through RL from where now here X to Y. Now and here also current flows through X to Y and output voltage appears across RL. Means in this rectifier current flows for um, in both the half cycles. That's why it is called as full wave rectifier. Let us see the diagram, right? If you see the positive half cycle, yes, output is obtained. Negative half cycle, yes, output is obtained. Again, output is obtained. Since the output is obtained during both the cycles, so this kind of a rectifier is called as full wave rectifier. So we have studied both now here. One is half wave rectifier, and another one is full wave rectifier. Okay, thank you.